Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to discussing about the unit hydrograph previous year questions. First question is the the word unit in the unit hydrograph denotes a the unit depth of runoff, b unit duration of the storm, c unit base period of the hydrograph, d arbitrary. In the unit hydrograph, unit denotes the unit depth of runoff, which means one centimeter depth of runoff. The answer is A. Next question is the recession limb of a hydrograph signifies A. Accumulation storage, B. Depletion of storage, C. Consist con Constancy of storage D. Importance of storage Our answer is the B. Depletion of storage Explanation is the This is the Rising limb A to B is the rising limb C to D is the falling limb Or Recession limb in the rising limb part, we can get accumulation storage. In the recession limb part, we can get the depletion storage. So, our answer is the B, depletion storage. Next question is, when a 2-hour unit hydrograph is available, other unit hydrographs of the following duration may be easily prepared except the given hydrograph is 2 hours unit hydrograph. In the given options, A is the 4 hours unit hydrograph, B 5 hours unit hydrograph, C 1 hour unit hydrograph, D 8 hours unit hydrograph. In the question asked about the easily prepared except which is we can't prepare the 2 hours unit mm, from the 2 hours unit hydrograph easily we can prepare the 4 hours unit hydrograph and 8 hours unit hydrograph using the superposition method and 5 hours unit hydrograph prepared by using the escrow method the we can't generate the 1 hour unit hydrograph easily we can generate but this is the uh, complexity of generating the one hour unit hydrograph. Our answer is C. Next question is the A hydrograph of short duration can be converted into a hydrograph of longer duration by A unit hydrograph, B synthetic hydrograph, C escrow method, D flood routing. Our answer is escrow method. Uh, in the previous question, we discussed about the when shorter duration unit hydrograph can be converted to longer duration by using two methods. The, those two methods are the superposition method and summation curve method or escrow method. Our answer is C, escrow method. Next question is, if a three-hour unit hydrograph of a Catchment has a peak ordinate of 50 meter cube per second. The peak ordinate of a 6 hour unit hydrograph of the same catchment will be options A greater than 50 meter cube per second, B equal to 50 meter cube per second, C less than 50 meter cube per second, D inadequate data. In the given question, there is a 3 hour unit hydrograph of peak ordinate is 50 meter cube per second. When the 3 hours unit hydrograph is extended to 6 hour unit hydrograph of the same catchment, the peak ordinate is our answer is less than 50 meter cube per second. The explanation is that here we can see that here this is the A unit hydrograph, this is the B unit hydrograph. The duration of A unit hydrograph is longer than the B unit hydrograph. Uh, here we can take it as a 
B unit hydrograph is the three hours unit hydrograph. B is the and A is the six hours unit hydrograph. The three hours unit hydrograph has the ordinate with the I uh, ordinate is greater than the A hours unit hydrograph. So our answer is the six hours unit hydrograph having the P coordinate of less than the three hours unit hydrograph of P coordinates, which means less than 50 meter cube per second. Our answer is C. Next question is the if the duration of a unit hydrograph approaches zero, the resulting unit hydrograph is known as when A S curve hydrograph, B synthetic unit hydrograph, C constant unit hydrograph, D instantaneous unit hydrograph. Uh, S curve hydrograph is used to extend the duration of unit hydrograph. Synthetic unit hydrograph means the this is the empirical unit hydrograph like that. Uh, constant unit hydrograph we don't know about this. The here only option is instantaneous unit hydrograph. Our answer is D. The explanation is if the duration of a rainfall excess becomes infinitesimally small which means t hours to zero hours the resulting unit hydrograph is called instantaneous unit hydrograph our answer is d remember this in infinitesimally small duration known as instantaneous unit hydrograph this is important next question is the an instantaneous unit hydrograph is formed when the duration of effective precipitation is a infinitesimal, b exponential, c infinite, d asymptotic. Uh, we know that in the previous question we discussed about the duration of rainfall excess becomes infinitesimally. In the next question given that a is the infinitesimal, our answer is option a next question is the viewing watershed as a system the assumption made in the unit hydrograph theory is a non-linearity b both linearity and time invariance time variance sorry c both time variance and non-linearity d both linearity and time invariance in the unit hydrograph the assumptions are time invariance and linear response which means time should not be varied and the unit hydrograph should be um, linearly plotted our answer is option d this is the important question for competitive exams remember this Time invariance and linear response are the assumptions of unit hydrograph. Our next question is the one of the basic assumptions made in unit hydrograph theory is option A rainfall is uniform all over the catchment, B base flow is considered, C rainfall varies with time, D all the above. We can discuss about the options. B base flow is considered in the unit hydrograph, base flow is not considered. C. Rainfall varies with time. Rainfall should not be varied. Time in the previous question, the assumptions of unit hydrograph is time invariance and linear response. So B and C are wrong. So our option is A. Rainfall is uniform all over the catchment in the given duration. Our answer is A. Next question is the the upper limit on the area of the basin for the applicability of unit hydrograph is taken to be a 5000 km square b 2500 km square c 10000 km square d 100 km square the limits of the unit hydrograph are the 2 km square is the least limit and 5000 km square is the upper limit our answer is 5000 km square which this is also important one remember this 2 km square is the least one and 5000 km square is the upper limit of the area of the basin 
the event hydro graph should be applicable thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel